an another question to Ramachandra Prabhu. Our false guru, David Bruce Hughes, a.k.a. Um, das Anudas Das, uh, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada, now he rejected Prabhupada as his guru, but that was his initiative name. And he was exposed on the internet. Somebody posted the pictures, the sex pictures he had with his disciples on the internet. And now somebody emailed me that somebody wants to accept him as a guru. So I, I need the, these pictures to send it to this guy, you know. You still have this, uh, Ramachandra? No, no, this was, uh, this was uh, well, what, 12 years ago or something? 10 years ago? Yeah, it was in 2012. He, he was exposed by a Russian devotee, uh, Andre, uh, Andre from uh, a Russian uh, devotee who is living in Canada. He was exposed in 2012. Mm -hmm. But may, maybe you can just testify that it's true, you know. Maybe you can, I will send them the video then. Maybe you can just testify that everything I said that David Bruce used uh, was exposed as having sex with his own ashram disciples, that it was true. Maybe you can testify here on video. I testify that it's true. Sure, I was, I was not there when that was, well, actually I was there, but I was not living at the ashram. That was going on since many, many years. He was into this homo crazy, whatever you call it. I never heard. But, but you had photographs at one time? No, no, not me. There was this guy that exposed him. On the internet, right? On the internet, yeah. So he, he, he was an exposed guru. So, and, that, and that person on the internet no longer has the uh, pictures? It should be somewhere. I'm not sure, you know, I was not. Yeah, his, his, name, his name was Shaktipat Seer. His YouTube name was Shakti Patsir. He was like an American guy. But I, I'm not sure if, he's still, if the stuff is still online, you know. I, I will just, later I will just uh, make an excerpt from this video and then I will send it, you know, because we, we have both seen it, you know, that, what, that David Bruce Hughes was having sex with his own ashram disciples and he, that he was exposed, you know. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, yeah, it's, it was pretty crazy how he was getting money and doing all kinds of the secret things behind behind closed doors you know yeah one uh, one devotee his name is uh peter bhakta peter yeah. I, I i was still in contact with him for some time you know now he like sort of disappeared you know he's not replying to my messages but he told me that david bruce Hughes had all the ashram devotees touch his feet four times a day you know everybody in the ashram he had to bow down to him four times a day and another devotee, uh, his name is uh, David Lugan. He told me that when he was chanting the uh, Narayan Kavacha prayers and he did the mudras, the hand, hand gestures, then he pointed the, uh, the mudra at David Bruce Hughes and he, because he was such a big demon, you know, he was like uh, pushed away by the energy of the uh, Kavacha mantra, of Narayan Kavacha. So he was definitely a very, very big demon, you know. He was also into black magic and stuff like this. Apparently, he tried black magic on us, but it never worked. He was initiated by Prabhupada. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do you, do you have an idea which year? Uh, I'm not sure, you know. But he, uh, there's still a letter in the Veda base, you know. I posted this letter in our um, in our uh, WhatsApp group a couple of weeks ago because. You were having a discussion about uh, if anybody can write um, books, you know, and in this letter, Prabhupada is telling him he can write articles or something like this. And he should just repeat what's in the book and should not uh, imagine something, you know. I posted this uh, letter in the public WhatsApp group, it's, uh, not the uh, League of 10K, but the other WhatsApp group. Okay. So, so I think, should we go on with the uh, uh, Shiksha and Diksha Guru thing or? Well, it's very tough to accept that uh, Srila Prabhupada's uh, disciple would, do, would go so badly. So well, uh, he, he rejected like Prabhupada now and he's, he's making a new Guru scam, you know. Now he, he started a guru, sh a guru scam in India, but he's a Mayavadi now. And he left, he lost, he was so, such an offender that Prabhupada kicked him out of the parampara. He rejected oh. Prabhupada and he's still uh, offending Prabhupada on his new web website. He's blaming Prabhupada that he did all these offenses, you know. He, he's not, he's a very big demon, you know. If I ever, uh, ever, ever meet him, you know, I will 
extract the donations from him, you know. You can be sure. If I ever <laughs> meet him physically, then I will extract the do donations from him. He's doing offenses against a pure devotee. <laughs> and when, it, 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 extracting, <laughs> when you're finished extracting the information, we will come to his Shraddha ceremony. <laughs> it might not be a pleasant yeah, thing for him, you know. I can assure you of that, you know. He's he's supposed to be in Europe now. I got this information on this email that he's supposed hey, to be. This in is Europe. live. This is live. What's going on here? So I'm not sure if you want to say all this stuff live. So well, you know, okay, I, okay. Let I, I never I never said word anything, word. you know, that's illegal. You know, I just said <laughs> I will extract some donations from him that he illegally collected in the name of Prabhupada. You know, that's not illegal. You know. <laughs> okay, 